You need more reasons to learn JavaScript and don't know where to start? First of all, JavaScript is extremely popular. It can be used on the front-end and the back-end, allowing you to write full-stack applications with a single language. It is everywhere. It works on the server with Node.js, in browsers. It is used to build performant native apps. It is used to make cross-platform desktop apps. You can create music with it and many, many other things. JavaScript is a scripting language. You can do everything in the browser without any other tools. Setting up environments, code editors, downloading compilers and learning how to use them. It is the third layer of the layer cake of standard web technologies. After HTML and CSS, you should consider learning JavaScript as a next step. Learn HTML so that you know how to structure a website. Learn CSS so that you know how to style a website. And learn JavaScript so that you can begin to understand programming and add some interactivity to your website. Knowing these three technologies, you are able to create projects, and reach your portfolio and even look for a job. There are tons of jobs for JavaScript developers. There are a lot of opportunities and the demand for JavaScript developers is still growing. JavaScript is a relatively easy language to learn. In comparison with other languages, you don't need any degrees or pre-knowledge to start. But you may ask, how should I start and what exactly to learn? So first you should start with plain JavaScript, no libraries, frameworks or Node.js. First start with basics. You must know the JavaScript syntax, things like objects, arrays, functions and etc. to continue with building things. The second thing to learn are methods provided by the DOM. This is about selecting elements, traversing the DOM, adding and removing things from the DOM, adding and removing event listeners, changing styles and classes. At this stage, you are able to apply your knowledge on projects. Try to build something simple like accordions, for example. Use Google and Stack Overflow if you are stuck. It's okay to copy and paste things at first, but you should understand the code you are using, its mechanics, and be able to modify it. And it is also important to learn best practices to make your code well organized. Now it's time for object-oriented programming and functional programming. I also recommend you to start learning about querying APIs after getting the basics of JavaScript. APIs are ready-made sets of code that allow a developer to implement programs that would otherwise be hard to implement. They provide you with extra superpowers to use in your JavaScript code. There are two main categories, browser APIs like DOM, Canvas, Audio and Video, and third-party APIs like Twitter API or Google Maps. Now, when you have confidence, you can learn a front-end framework or library, like Angular, Vue or React. It will allow you to build complicated web applications more easily and fast. You can learn Node to build a backend. It is perfect for building a web application in which you'd like to maintain a persistent connection from the server to the browser. It is extremely fast and reliable. And you can also dive deeper into JavaScript and learn to write better and cleaner code. But note that you can learn any programming language only by writing it. So practice, solve problems, create projects and don't stop and skip steps. It would be much harder for you to understand complex things without getting the basics. And you'd probably get bored and fail. Be consistent and enthusiastic. Let coding be fun and JavaScript easy. Please write in comments why you've decided to become a web developer and what topics you are interested in. And if you want to be the first to watch such free educational videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a good week and see you next Tuesday.